This morning I've made a few phone calls to regional leaders in Tennessee and um, Louisiana and Mississippi and to congregational leaders, taking a moment to assure them of what I knew to be true, that disciples across the United States and Canada are praying for them in the wake of the rising floodwaters that we read about these days and which they are uh, not reading about but living through. The same kind of calls that I've made to Alabama in the wake of storms and um, the same kinds of thoughts that I've had with respect to the fires in Texas, uh, knowing how very challenging it is for people to live in the face of uh, nature gone wild. But in the midst of these kinds of times, we turn to God with a new kind of insistence and a new kind of intensity. We turn to each other and we reach out with a new kind of, of love and authenticity, uh, reaching out neighbor to neighbor to help each other. I'm so grateful that disciples have been reaching out in strong intercessory prayer, reaching out in tangible ways through gifts to Week of Compassion and in other ways. I'm so grateful for our regions, our regional leaders and congregational leaders that are, that are helping congregations to find their strength in their spiritual center. And it occurred to me that the thing I would most like to do right at this moment is to gather together uh, disciples and to offer and to ask a word of prayer for our brothers and sisters in the wake of storms. And so I invite you to pray with me right now. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, we do come to you as a gracious and loving God, even at these times. In fact, especially at these times of, of concern and worry and fear and loss. We ask that we would be fully aware of your presence at this time, O oh God, that we would know your loving embrace, that we would sense the strength that you give to us, that you would give us creative and compassionate response. Be with each of those who are in the way of rising water or blowing winds or raging fire. Give neighbor the strength and compassion to reach out to neighbor. Give the agencies and of government and, and uh, civil organizations, the preparedness to um, gather people ready to, to respond well and fully. I give you thanks, O oh God, for the ministries of the church, for the ways that we attempt to be the hands and the feet and the voice and the heart of Jesus in these times. Give us strength, O oh God, that in the face of the power of nature, we will know the power of your love. In fact, we will be the power of your love, the witness, the testimony of how much you love each one of your children. Be with each one now who is facing loss, who is needing courage and hope. Be courage and hope, O oh God, to each one of your children, for we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen.